Montana Natural History Center's Science Shorts. Today, we're going to hear from Master Naturalist Christine Morris, who's going to tell us all about lichen. Have you ever been walking through the woods and seen something like this growing from the trees? Do you know what it is? It's lichen! Lichen is an amazing organism! It's a combination of fungi, the most common fungi you could probably think of are the button mushrooms you eat for dinner, although not all fungi makes mushrooms, and a cyanobacteria and or algae. Algae is a plant, and it grows in rivers and lakes. You might have found it when you were swimming, or perhaps on the side of a dirty fish tank. 99% of what you see is the fungus. The rest of it is the algae and bacteria. You can find lichen in the forest, growing even on the sides of buildings, growing on rocks, and even on rocks underwater. It comes in three major shapes, or thallus forms. One is crustose, which is crusty and on a rock, pressed flat. Another one would be folios, like a leaf, and kind of wavy. And the third is fruticose, which grows like a shrub, or networked, and we're going to look at that today. The first one we'll look at is wolf lichen, Lotharia vulpina. This is a beautiful lichen. The color, which we call chartreuse, comes from vulpinic acid inside the lichen. This can be a little bit toxic to animals. You might find it on trees with bark or those that have died and the bark has fallen off. It doesn't hurt the tree where it grows. And it glows beautifully in the sun if you're hiking in the afternoon. The next one we'll look at is usnea, sometimes called old man's beard. You can be sure you have usnea if you take a part of it and gently pull it apart. One of the strands will have a white cord inside. It's kind of elastic and rubbery, especially if it gets wet. The third kind is bryoria, also called horsehair. We have 15 species of bryoria in Montana. Believe it or not, some animals actually like to eat this stringy, dry lichen. Ungulates like deer and elk will sometimes nibble on it. Humans have even put an edible species in pemmican. And flying squirrels are especially known for eating bryoria and making their nests out of it. The next time you go walking through the woods, Look closely at the lichen and see how many species you can find. 